Oh, what's up, guys? This is the Rifleman, and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Total War. Let's play as the Kingdom of Bavaria. And in this episode, we have landed our assault forces um, on the east coast of India. And now we're going to attack the city of Calcutta. So we need to be play this carefully so that we can capture the city and minimize the need to fight their reinforcements. So let's crack on. We've got a really good army to conduct this attack. Um, and I think we're going to be okay. I think we're going to be okay. But it's important that we... As, as with most cases when you land in India, you need to fight these battles as efficiently as possible and really maximise your kill-death ratio, for the want of a better word. Because you need your forces to stay intact for as long as possible. You don't want them to get gutted in the first action because then they'll probably get killed by the second, third or fourth follow-up army that the Indians put against you. So... Need to be careful. That's why advanced artillery, howitzers, and so on are so darn useful. I mean, this isn't ideal. So we're going to do an attack from over here. The enemy has good artillery, so I don't really want to expose my forces too much unnecessary fire. So I'm, pro and I'm also probably not going to do a super wide blank around because that's a recipe for trouble i'm going to be a bit more tight in my coordination and, well, and i'm hoping i don't get screwed over with deployment because i have kind of shifted over to the way to a more dangerous position so the howitz is going to get to work on nullifying their, their mortars specifically. We're not so bothered about their troops in the center. But to be honest, they're in range, they can just attack. And they are attacking my howitzers, so. Bit of time pressure here. But we're gonna make we're gonna make a few breaches in the walls to really force them to spread out the Well there we could we may actually continue bombarding behind them to keep attacking the mortars. No, it's probably more important we destroy more sections of the walls as fast as possible. It's the name of this section here. Down to three men guarding the guns. We're also attacking their other artillery units. You still manning your gun? Guns. Doesn't look like it. In which case we can start to attack some of these units that are defending the wall as is. I don't think they've got any more how the mortars. Ah no, there they there they are. They're a bit tricky to deal with. Make ready and fire. Yeah, we'll take it down. You want to go for the Kizobachi Musketeers. Arm Populist. They're more frustrating, but they do less damage. One crewman left for this mortar unit. How many? I should really have checked really how many they've got. They may have more hiding in here. 
Islamic swordsman, populous, 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 populous. Bodyguard. Okay, so it is this just this extra unit over here. Keep bombarding. Smart decision for now, I think. It's probably a smart idea to start thinning out the uh, troops in the center as well as the troops defending. Hopefully we may not kill a few troops here. Yeah, we have. The mercenaries would be good to kill. Oh, good hit. We're out of range of being able to do some good damage to their mortar units, but we're still going to do some good work here. Then when we push, we are going to push. The Islamic Swordsmen are committing. So we're getting to see where the reinforcements are coming in from. They're potentially awkward. I'm curious to see if I can get if I can get the mortars to engage my my artillery to engage the enemy mortars. Well, then, yeah, yeah, the enemy my foot artillery to engage the enemy mortars. That's the plan. A hit right here would just be. Obscene. I'm hope. Well, I'm. I'm. Oh, I'm, oh, I'm missing. We overshot anyway. They appear. Just got to bear in mind the howitz that the mortar line is just ahead of where my howitzers are. If I give you orders to attack their artillery, you give me your fire icon, but do you actually attack? No, you don't. So if I just do no fire at will... Even though you do have targets, you're just electing not to use them. But well, let's push. If they attack us, if they attack outside of the walls, they are more likely to rout. The main thing is, it's important to remember, mortars suck. Just make my wild dragoon just to go attack the artillery anyway. They are more likely to rout. Well, the human may actually. Well, no, you got to fight some of these chaps. Artillery just just keep attacking the walls, I guess. These men are all ready to engage the armed populace. Ideally, I like to take some men up on the walls and capture it. The mortars are firing.
here come some more elephants. We don't want to really fight those with our dragoons. There you go, they've broken. Excellent, so now we can start to get men up on the wall. Assuming they don't want to... Assuming they all run back inside. That gives us options. I'm fairly sure my cuirassier can deal with elephants. And just keep dropping shells in the centre. Yeah, they're running, so we are going to be able to secure... Yeah, so this is where we're going to start to run into problems now, is we're, we're, we're going to be in, being engaged by the enemy reinforcements as they come in. Keep my artillery just attack grounding in the centre somewhere. Oh no, you should, you gave the orders to charge. Good quick line hits. So if they push out, we'll beat them back. So you men go after the horsemen quickly. Before they kill my... I mean, this definitely doesn't help. Ah. Artillery will go after the elephants. Ooh, excellent hits there against a lot of enemy elephants. Button pushed out. Oh, we're starting to get into trouble. Hits in the centre still going down well. Yeah, you know, they're using artillery to attack us. Can you men secure the gate? You can't fight. Secure the gate. Form square. You get the gatehouse is ours. You men form square. My lifeguards advance. You men have a shot to get in. Hold your square. The horsemen will break. We do not need another general. You can go kill the 24 pounders. Send in the cuirassier to attack the cavalry as well. Two men are going to engage them if they try and push out of the push out towards us. Oh, it's done to chug, as is tradition. Is it you guys? You men, run in! Come on!
It's always curious. It might be this fight here. So if I pull you guys out. No, your fighting is still going on. It's probably this. Now they're starting to fire. Quick climb at us. Which will eventually work. You men are going to have to push forward. We can't sit here taking that sort of damage. You men have broken. Lancer guards. Storm in. Bring the Dragoons back over here. Cavalry are fighting, but trouble is we just we just need to kill them because they're starting they're blocking us. Just too many blockers. These guys are grenadiers and line infantry guards, so they will eventually work their way through. Okay, let's run my lancers in here. That infantry is going to stay in square. Killed the enemy general, or an enemy general at least. She where's the big unit? The big unit of infantry just push through. This Kizabashi unit is small enough that my guys can just run through. So here come the lancers. Warm ranks. The men are going to form. Form ready. All my artillery engage whatever units the closest. Form square because the elephants are coming in. Sierra coming in. My cuirassier may actually help fight other actions. My lancers can deal with the enemy artillery. The great guns. There's only one. Okay, if you want to push forward and attack the artillery, the mortars. Cuirassiers will help deal with them. Fighting. My infantry are pushing their way through the bowmen. Howitzers engage. Kizobashi musketeers. Next thing, I managed to push the bowmen back with just artillery fire and musket fire, so keep doing that. Go after the mortar crewmen. You men are going to have to get out of square to push forward and engage. Same with you men. Keep attacking. You men need to get off the walls. Charge the enemy generals in the rear. Strictly speaking, should probably send someone to secure this gate. That is very important. You may secure the center. Should keep dropping quick climb here. Infantry. I've got some line infantry, they're going to go secure the gate. You men 
secure the gate, try and make it ours. You men sit on the centre and I'll push my Lancer guards forward to attack the men trying to break in. My Owen's all in. Okay, you men attack, you men attack. Good, there go the enemy. One unit of enemy infantry. Now just hold. Just hold. Reinforcements are on their way. Bring up the Fry Corps cavalry. Actually, you may help to clean up this pocket. And these units push over to the other gatehouse. Boy, George, I think I've got it. Okay, you men get inside. Excellent, more routes. You men fire will off. So they're fighting heroically at the gate, but we will be able to bog them down enough that they can't get in. And Calcutta belongs to Bavaria. Nice. Heroic victory, damn right. So we haven't done one army's damaged, but not two or more, which is ideal. Okay, so we've got 391,000. Let's get repairing. Oh, Herbert Talbot. It's so good. Okay, let's repair the port of Calcutta. Then we want to push forward immediately and attack this force here under Mohammed Suresh. Lots of cavalry so we're likely to deploy uh, deploy and respond to the cavalry charge then mop up the infantry afterwards. That's probably going to be the way we do it. So my guns are going to be deployed behind the infantry line hopefully on a raised position fire over their heads and destroy their or at least damage their formations and force them to attack us uh, head on, so to speak. Actually really ideal. So let's form a, an initial gun line. I'm going to want skirmishers and my fusiliers up front. Deployed as wide as they can be to deploy stakes. Artillery up on the high ground behind them. Oh, Jaeger Sophia plus Crassier on one flank, two Crassier on the other flank, General in the center. Play stakes and get the hell out of Dodge. All my artillery is going to focus on the enemy here. It's not a bad outcome. So these layers are placed. Okay, everyone's placed. Good. Okay, so effectively run the entire formation behind the line to safety. Now it says switch to quick climb and start quick climbing some of the enemy heavy cavalry. My foot artillery is, con is continuing to engage the enemy guns, although some of them, like you, Switch to shrapnel sharp. So my fuse layers are going to come over here.
a lot of mercenaries form square. Oh, that's a lot of armored cavalry. on some of these other units to the rear now because it's all getting a bit involved to deploy my fusiliers to form square these men are running across our front so they're going to be doomed These men are being lured into our squares where we can counter charge. This unit of two man, I mean, you just hold. Just hold. Get the how it's quick climbers to work on. You work on a dervish unit, you work on a levy unit. A unit of two man is broken. Continue the charge into the rear of this enemy cavalry unit. Ah, these mercenaries are broken. Well, not broken, they're just no longer in squares anymore. You killed a lot of men there with your volley, whoever that was. That was the Kizilbashi, wasn't it? Yeah, it was. That's right, pull them through the stakes. Fusiliers push up. You men both go out wide. Let's retarget our quick climb just to fire a round shot, engage the artillery at range, because that's the only safe thing we can realistically do with them. So they very nicely elect to charge my line of retreat on the flank like so. You men cease fire. Cressier, engage the general's bodyguard. Oh, go on, sharpshooters. Put some good shots across their flank. You men slam into the skirmishers. Switch to round shot with your foot artillery. Engage their artillery. Sharpshooters form a little front, a little uh, front line there. So where's my foot artillery? Engage that general bodyguard unit. That light cavalry is going to be going down. This general bodyguard is going to be going down. So who's back here? General bodyguard, too fangy. I mean, you need to die. This Lancer unit, these Dakani Lancers have managed to hold on for far too long. Okay, now you're in a good position. Make ready. Fire into the levee. Killed enemy general. Back through artillery fire rather than musket fire.
be rushing it, rushing it, hit the dervishes. Okay, you men form up. Get the cavalry out wide. Begin engaging. Then the artillery in the rear. Okay. God's sake, I didn't want to do that. Fortunately, it's not massively dangerous, and my artillery can't do jack anyway. Aim at the bowmen. Mortar and um, howitzers. Oh, the artillery's dead. Okay, aim at the two fangy at the rear. General's bodyguard's been shot down. Artillery charged down the levee. Reinforcements, how quaint. So who's coming in? Hin Hindu musketeers, Tufangi, Pizzobashi musketeers, Hindu warriors, some more levy. Hindu warriors. Kizilbashi. Yeah, not bad. Okay, so let's begin. Let's warm up our new line. Against these devilish reinforcements. We can leave the protection of our stakes. Are they shattered? They are shattered. Yeah. <laughs> Those bows have routed. Cauldron became too much for them. Let's speed up time, Rooney. Because we're just waiting on this last batch of Indian reinforcements to come in. of pushing a flank maybe but it's a flank that can be easily rectified and they're electing to mass in the center which is admirable but it's just putting them plumb within my artillery's preferred Firing location. It's not actually. It's not going to help them. Excellent hits. Yeah, quick climb dealt with them. And that, that's an attack ground quick climb as well. They're not even targeting particular units. Here they come. With one quick climb unit attack the units, this defensive unit. Everyone else, just split your fire and go for whomever you fancy. Good hits, good hits. So here come the peasants. And surprisingly, they do not like it. Yeah, not 
not brave anymore, are you? Okay, no, that, okay, that's a routing artillery piece, actually. Well, Jaeger Sophia, go after that gun. Everyone else, I'm gonna. I am content just to let my artillery tear them to shreds. Sadly, they do not have staying power to actually push my line. They will try. The artillery is considerable. The strength of my infantry is considerable. Kinda, kinda bugged. Just move all of you as one formation. Look at them. They are just, they are stumped. They're really stumped. Here they come. Now they're coming in. Hindu warriors. Can't do anything but charge into the gun line. No, they've had enough. 47th have nearly had enough. Yeah, they've definitely had enough. Machine of Hindu Warriors has also nearly had enough. So I'm not going to commit my cavalry while there are still units on the field because that's just a recipe for bad times. We are going to continue just because we've taken a bit of a hammering here so we need to help even the score a bit. Try and kill some of these troops. You go after this unit of Hindu warriors. Okay, we're low on numbers. We're probably not going to actually kill that many whole units, except for maybe these Hindu warriors. Yeah, we'll get them all right. If I don't screw up the clicks. Come on, let's try to help this unit mop up the musketeers here. Come on. You've got more cavalry now. Your pathfinding should be better. It is better. It's getting marginally better. Nope. Flag moved and they screwed it up. Oh well. <clears throat> so that's the next. That's the only other army that's actually got much strength near Calcutta repulsed. And now there are there are armies to the north. But for now at least, the territory is secure. So let's try to get rid of Patna, because that's university. And let's get rid of Dhaka and replace it with a pure Catholic building. So we can spawn more agents. Although if we get rid of the university, the territory is actually quite happy to be ours. But that's gone quite well, I must admit. I guess the, no, the navy can't get all the way to where I need it to just yet. Okay, begin the push along the coast, but in general it feels like everyone's kind of... Everyone's at max. Everyone... Actually, have, has everyone moved? No, they haven't. Right. So how do I want to do this? One of you to go secure Srinagar. Because then that opens up Gurkhas for us. Mm. You men may 
advance towards the city in an attempt to get them to attack you with concentrated reinforcements. You're going to hold here and defend while you threaten Lahore from the south. You men are going to cover the crossing finally. You're going to get down here as well. Nope. That way. Although you require reinforcements that you are getting. All my priests are on the move. Okay, you're in position. So you and you are a navy. I'm recruiting for the for uh, India. What I'm going to do is build a sloop here so I can pick up Mr. Wiener and attack Keflavik. Well, Reky Rekyavik, rather. Keflavik doesn't exist as an airfield yet. Nice. Okay. So you, good sir. You want to get a rocket troop. Heavy horse howitzer. Get some regular 12 pounders foot artillery, 24 pounder horse artillery. Two grenadiers, then you're going to get two engineers and two. You want to get these guys. So you've got recruitment space for seven units. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Boop. There we go. Willibord Mering. Okay, let's move you guys out. Yeah, okay, I might have might have goofed that a little bit. So let's just fill up our recruitment with some extra infantry units. I have You've already got rocket troop and 24 pounders. I thought I did. So let's cancel the rocket troop. You guys. Right, okay, okay, okay. You're still on your way, although it looks like you still have a few territories that don't have maxed out roads. I think all, all we can really do is hit end turn and yeah I don't really care what's going on up here hit end turn and see how India responds to what we've done okay let's see here come the priests But my objective is to just every single concentration of enemy Indian units, we just need to we just need to hit, we need to take them out. Our individual ships are likely to be attacked by major Indian fleets. Yep, so they, they're continuing to push. So that's two, potentially, or well, more than two full stacks. Are they going to pick up an army? They have. Curious to see where they drop it. Yeah, they're pushing and raiding. They've raided the university. That may or may not help us. They've cancelled our plans to destroy it. Right. So hey, oh, Mr. Heinemann. Yeah, let's withstand a Mughal attack. We're at the point where we just have to... There's, there's no being clever. There's no being sneaky. All we can do is just destroy, destroy the Indian army. That's, that's all we have to do. That's all we need to do. Let's get to it. I want my battle fleet in Ceylon to be replenished so I can 
redeploy them to counter the Moogle fleet. But apart from that, I don't really think... Oh, I want my horse guard artillery up on this hill here. So let's give them a fairly elite four units to either side. I might just put all my artillery up here, which means... Okay, let's just give them something like that. Group you guys together. So then you men can hold the more regular ground. Heavy horse howitzers. Just open up on whatever you want. My cavalry... Stay back and deploy as required. Same with my generals. Okay, right. Let's actually pivot you guys forward. Bring you guys forward. And you guys, like so. Take a mounted unit and a melee unit. Push them down the slope here. Heavy horse artillery up on the hill behind them. Same with these 24 pounders. Get my grenadiers out on the extreme left. I need my howitzers just smacking open regular units. My foot, my my, um, my actual artillery is going to do a huge amount of damage to any enemy guns. So let's pivot these new guys like so. So they're starting to engage us, or well, they are engaging us with their own foot artillery. So we need to start burning powder in response. The heavy horse guard artillery is a pretty perfect unit to do that with. Our quick climb's going in. Engage. So it's going to be gun taken out right now. Training team's obliterated. Yep. Don't forget, you attacked me, remember? Email my run to make sure you're up in position, ready to rock and roll. Where's my Chevalier? Push them up, fire at will on. Curacier a bit further out. It's the bombarding 24 foot guards. Starting to make some of their artillery route waver. It's another gun destroyed. Retarget the guns. Come the elephants. They're not charging, they're just advancing. Marines, Marines, Fusiliers, Fusiliers. That's a really bad line for you to go into, into a bowman. Yeah. Back you go, we reload. Artillery. Look at those dervishes. Those are oh, those Islamic sword. No, they were, was dervishes. They got 
they got really smacked. So you men are reloading, ready to push the bowmen again. Ready for the bowmen to be pushed. Form square, redeploy my artillery fire. Just add something else. The 24 pounders keep doing counter battery, horse artillery. Oh. Shrapnel shot the Hindu musketeers. They just obliterated me. Oh, you lucky swine. Hohenzoll and Cuirassier go after the Hill's bodyguard. Grenadiers form up. Yeah, they definitely did not want to put up with that very long. Heavy cavalry hit the swordsman. Let's send my light cavalry in as well, just to overwhelm. Oh, they went flying. To overwhelm the swordsman, because swordsman, Islamic swordsmen are a good melee unit, but isolated against multiple cavalry units. They are very vulnerable. My load down to half strength already. And they're pushing men in to try and protect them. Then format. Make sure fire it rolls off. It is. Horse grenadier guards go after the Hindu warriors. So you might do round shot and attack the general bodyguard. You hit the Hindu musketeers. You go after the two fangy with your carbines. Horse guards are not going to have any problems with these guys. Hope the drummer's bodyguard if you like then. I mean these poor devils who have done so much damage. 24 pounder. Keep going after their 24 pounders. Yeah, they are shattered. How about you? Shattered, so withdraw. It's the general bodyguard routing. Actually, my general is going to chase them down. Horse grenade guard are going to go after the Gurkhas. We may actually commit. in my Chevrolet trying to gun down the general's bodyguard. Chase them down. How about you? They can then be reinforcements, so you need to be a bit aware of that. Keep on engaging. Yeah, you are within range. Excellent.
Nice, nice, nice. Advanced artillery drills, man. They're just so good. Yeah, kill the Gurkhas, and then once they finish attacking the units they are currently attacking, we're going to pull them back to our line, because the enemy does like to chase around our cavalry. Even though two family armor is something we're that interested in making sure we kill. There go the Gurkhas. Pull the cavalry back. And just open up on them with artillery. Make sure my grenadiers are on fire well again. Molly into the two fangy just to make sure they go away. Excellent. Let's speed up time again because everyone's recovering and it's it's all just an artillery thing now. Oh yeah, they're routing. Chevalier fire it will off. These poor dervishes, they're trying to chase down my cavalry. You are very much mistaken. One howitzer to work on you. One howitzer to work on you. The artillery still here? Yeah, it's still still at the back, still kicking. I'm gonna make it towards my gun line. The 24 foot guards that have put up with a lot of rubbish from the enemy forces. Quick line's done a good number on them too. Enemy artillery is routing. Poor Hindu warriors. They have to charge our line. Yeah, why I order? Wait till the 24th are reloaded. Oh, they are. There they go. Just an insult to injury. <laughs> Excellent! Halt oh, the artillery fire. You men all go after one. You men go after the other unit. Plus there's an artillery chap back here who does not appear to want to go anywhere. All in. Try go after the gunners. Slaughter them. Yeah, I'm fairly sure that's game over for this unit. The 110th Dakil. Dakili. Now it's all. About this one infantryman who's. Get him! Oh, he's dead. <laughs> well, somehow, he died of fright or heart attack or some kind of stroke. Mia Khan, back you go. It's another force. Ooh, they're dropping him behind our line again. Okay, now, now you pull back. So the London Army behind our lines, like go a Zahedan. This is why I want my navy to be back in shape. Ooh, actually, I think I'd rather be in the corner. Ah, oh, I thought I was going to retreat northward. But that's still a better engagement. At least they're both... They're all in front of me, largely. Actually, let's pull back as well.
Let's see. And they're fortifying hard. So we may have to divert an army back to deal with that uh, Indian incursion. I mean, you're just a small, uh, small. I mean, you are a small navy. You men go take him out, then you men run to the other side. Oh no, we were intercepted. I should really have waited until the navy attacked them. Uh, but looking at the timer, I believe it's time to end the episode. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed, and we'll see you next time to watch Muhammad Suresh die before a wall of Bavarian blades. See you next time, everyone. <laughs>